counterfeit fake luxury designer clothing. Now I know some of you, you're gonna be like, yeah, I always like to buy the original stuff. I never go buy the, the fake stuff. Well, that's up to you. But me personally, I don't think no t-shirt's worth $500. I don't think no pair of sneakers is worth $2,000, $3,000. See, I travel the world. I've been to places like Dubai. I've been to Turkey. And it's well known in these places you got like some really good, high quality, AAA, fake, luxury, replica clothing. I mean, you won't even be able to tell the difference from the original. And what surprised me was you can find them here in Colombia. And it's cheap. High-end t-shirts for $10, high-end sneakers, $20, $30. And so this is also part of the story because I'm looking for the ugliest sneakers in the world, the Bauman Unicorn. The counterfeit luxury brand industry literally generates millions of dollars each year. This is the Bauman Unicorn. It costs around $1,500. But I'm looking to buy these ugly sneakers for only $50 somewhere in Colombia. So you see, the problem is Colombia's got all these shopping malls, but you never find any of these luxury brands within them. I'm talking about the Gucci's, the Fendi's. And so you're stuck. Either you buy at triple the price online or you take some money out from the ATM and head down to the fake market the same way that I am. Anyway, this video isn't sponsored by Balmain, but I did reach out to them and they said it's Balmain, not Balmain, Balmain. And so who knows, maybe if I improve my French pronunciations, I might get some free original clothing from them instead of heading down to the fake market and buying a replica. It's the new year and the new year sales are on and so it's busy and so the markets are packed. I was told over here I can get some real luxury high-end brands for $15, $10, $20. In this building, El Tesoro, nine floors filled with high-quality, high-end, fake luxury brands. I'm talking about Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Fendi, Yeezys, whatever, they got it. And unlike Dubai where they take you down some sketchy road and into some secret room, here it's all sold outside in the open. You'll be amazed at the amount of really attractive women who come here to buy fake counterfeit clothing. And so it just goes to show you, just because she looks expensive doesn't mean she's actually really expensive. ¿Y cuál es de otro? Yo quiero. Yo... Vea, para esa línea. Oversight también. Sí, pero muéstrame. ¿Tú recuerdas? Ya. ¿Y cuánto? Pues varios precios. Ok. No, esto, recuerda. Tú... ¿Qué es esto? Esa es la parte de atrás. ¿Cuánto es eso? Es. 80. Fendi. So, si esto normalmente en uh, una tienda, en original tienda, es como 300. Ah, re caro. Sí. Muy costoso. Sí, pero esto es pequeño. Yeah, yeah. Es pequeño. No, oh, pues se le busca la talla. Oh, ok. El modelo. Ok, ya. Yeah. ¿Y cuánto es? 60. Oh, también tenemos esta, que es calidad full, 1-1. Calidad Versailles, o sea, grande, big. Esta. Esta. Yeah, pero, de, de. ¿Cuánto es? 9-5. 95. 95. Casi 100. Sí, casi 100. So, maybe I'm going to get this to very good quality. You know, inside it's got everything. Puedes menos. Todo es computador. Yo lo doy por less. Gracias. Yeah, <laughs> Porque me gusta. Por favor, me dame el de otro. And so bought a couple of t-shirts from this store and trust me, the quality feels 
and looks Thank exactly you. like the original. Thank you. Man. And how much did I spend? Okay. I think $40 That's for it. about two or three t-shirts. Three t-shirts. So now I'm about to explore the floors and trust me, I'm looking for something a little bit more simpler, like, you know, a Nike t-shirt or Nike tracksuit or Adidas, something like that, you know. Big size. To be fair, in this store, I couldn't really find the kind of material or quality I wanted. And so I thought to myself, it's best I move on. But something else did catch my eye. And so right now, and I got the drip in my head. So I'm picking up Dior t-shirts, Fendi, Gucci, and I'm going crazy. I'm paying $15, $10 for all these replicas. It's a good deal, especially as these products are AAA 1.1 quality replicas. Google that. And so all of this stuff made me think, because these companies are manufacturing these so-called high-end luxury products for dirt cheap, and then selling it for 300, 400, even a thousand times the cost of manufacture to the public. And so owning these products become a status symbol thing, an aspirational thing. And that's why the replica fake designer market exists. Okay, Street Hollywood. This is where you get some of the best replica sneakers. You can literally find all the best replica sneakers here. Esto es mejor, sí, de esto. Okay, esto más. Pero esto es bueno. Okay. Looks good. Very good. Quality is good. As I said, the quality at AAA 1.1 rated. That means they're so close to the original, almost identical to the original, which means your average consumer won't be able to tell the difference. And that's why many of these people who sell these fake uh, luxury brands do it online. They literally buy it from places like this and sell it online um, because people just don't know the difference. Anyway, I couldn't find what I wanted and so I'm still on a mission to find a $1,500 Bauman unicorn, which are the ugliest shoes ever made in this entire world. And so this guy I'm speaking to here, he tells me he's going to help me find it, that everything is here in this market. And you know, I tell him, listen, if you're going to help me find this, you know I'm paying only about $50 for it. Because the truth is, I don't actually really want them sneakers. It's ugly. But I just want to see if they actually have it here. Because it just came out like five months ago, something like that. And so I'll be impressed if they already have a replica for it, especially here in Colombia. And so we walk and walk and walk until we get to some store filled with some very high-end replica sneakers. And so you can guess what I found. The ugliest sneaker in the world. I mean, look at it. It's so damn ugly. The thousand dollar plus Bauman Unicorn. But this is the AAA rated 1.1 high quality replica version. And it's only going for $50 and it looks and feels like the original. The same weight, the same tiny inscriptions, the same details. I mean, them boys from China, they really know how to make these fakes. I call this deep fake. Comes with the box and everything. I mean, this stuff, it looks so real. It comes with the box and everything, even with the special Bauman bag. You know, the bag that comes inside the Bauman boxes. I swear no one would be able to tell you this ain't the real stuff. So this is very good quality. 
they got my size and so I'm gonna try them on and I think I'm gonna buy this not because I like it but just because I want to troll people you know piss people okay. off make people think what the hell is he wearing on his feet and so okay here it goes for $50 looking like the Blade Runner I got the Balmain unicorns, the replicas, high-end AAA 1.1 replicas on my feet and I know they look ugly but that's why I made this video to show you that you can literally get anything in this fake designer market. Anyway, let me know what you think of these shoes. Would you buy the original for a thousand dollars?